Welcome to the channel guys. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Bass Masters Fishing 2022. Today we're going to talk about the college series. So when you're first starting the career mode, you will have to fish in Toledo Bend, Lake Chick, and two events in St. Lawrence River. So let me show you one location to fish in each event so you can win them all. So the college series starts in Toledo Bend. So let's take a quick boat ride across the lake. You can follow along to this nice hot spot. You have some potential here to catch some monster large mop bass. I've also caught some legendary named bass in this spot. So a nice little spot right here. You'll see some trees that have been cut down and a nice little stump that's sticking out of the water. So around that stump and to the right of it is a nice little edge where the fish tend to spawn. So for most of the event, I did use the jinkolistic swim bait. Also use some diving crankbaits. The deep little black and blue and a nutter shad. The Lake Fork and the Gizzard 3.5 lipless crankbait, also two great lures to catch bass on Toledo Bend and many other lakes. So if you're just getting started with Bassmaster Fishing, welcome. We enjoy your company. So drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. So to win the College Series events does not require a lot of bass. So we just need a few nice bass. Put some weight in the boat. So don't worry if you're just starting out. You should be able to easily win these first few competitions. Let's take a look at a little bit more action. I'll show you the leaderboard at the end of the tournament so you can see approximately about how much weight it takes to win these college series. So I caught that one on the deep little end nutter shad, which is a great little diving crankbait. But as you can see to end the tournament, it only took a little over 10 pounds to get the win. Let's get your bag on the scales and find out where that places you on the leaderboard. Let's hear it for your Bassmaster College Series champion. So the next event in the college series takes place at Lake Chick. So Lake Chick has a great hot spot right off the starting point. So just head over to the big old giant concrete ramp with the broke down truck on it. So you can fish right on the right side of that concrete ramp the entire time and catch plenty of bass to win the tournament. So we'll take a little bit more to win the Lake Chick College event, but don't worry, you should be able to catch plenty of large mop bass and some nice size small mouth bass right on the edge of the concrete ramp. So the Jinkolistic swim baits, one of my favorite swim bait. Also use some diving crank baits. Feel free to throw out your favorite lure so the bass and other species should tear up anything, almost anything you throw in the water right here. You can take a look at some of the action. You'll be able to see the end screen when the tournament's over. It didn't take very much to get the win at Lake Chick. Wow. 
So my goal for these videos in the collar series is to show you one location where you can fish the entire tournament to get the win. Peepers creepers, check out the peepers on that swamp donkey. Wow, the competition was tough out there today. Let's have a look and see how you did. Let's hear it for your Bassmaster College Series champion. So the next event in the College Series is going to be in St. Lawrence River and it's going to be a species race. All you need to do is catch as many different types of fish as you can. So let's head out to Little Island to the right of the starting point. Right on the tip of that island, there's a hot spot right there. So you can fish both of these next tournaments in the same location. So there's bass and many other species of fish. So St. Lawrence River has 17 different types of fish. So as you're making your approach to the island, on the little tip of the island, come straight ahead to where I'm at now, a little bit to the left. There's some shallow water, hot spots. The fish just kind of spawn right there. Plenty of fish to catch. The little Ned Bomb Purple Cloud, which I'll switch to in a little bit, helped me catch some bluegill and some crappie to complete my multi-species event. So I'm pretty sure I fished this event multiple times. Around five or six fish or more will win the event each time. So this time I only got around 11 because the wild eyes, the tiger muskies just kept biting all the time. So the jinkolistic swim bait caught multiple fish, but it seemed like the tigers were just dominating the catch of the day. But I did manage to catch enough fish to get the win. So this spot right here you can also use to fish the College Series bass event. Now you will catch a bunch of other fish on the Jinkolistic swim bait. Just keep on trying, especially in the shallow water right on the edge of the island. You should be able to catch enough bass to get the win. So the last event in the college series also takes place in St. Lawrence River. So top five bass will win it. So it's not going to take a lot in the college series to win the event. So if you're just starting out, don't worry. So 
15 pounds or more should win the event in St. Lawrence River. So I went to the same location, tried to catch as many largemouth and smallmouth bass as I could. So try not to catch other fish species. So if they try to bite, I just don't do anything until they get off and you get the old fish loss icon. Sometimes if the tigers bite and I can't get them off, I'll just raise my drag super high until the break offs and get back to bass fishing. As you can see, it didn't take a lot to get the win. So I had a horrible day bass fishing, but I still managed to get the win with 22 pounds. So make sure to check back real soon for the open series. I'll show you one spot in every lake and river to win the tournament. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Keep fishing and I'll see you next time.